What is up my Deagles, Deagles here, welcome to this uh, video on how you can get the jetpack within Grand Theft Auto 5 and uh, before this video starts I just want to mention that all the steps have to be followed so don't uh, make sure like you don't like skip any parts of the video as you will need to watch the entire video before you can actually get the jetpack and uh, so in this video I will be teaching you how you guys can obtain the jetpack so yeah it's a pretty easy uh, way to obtain the jetpack now so yeah guys I hope you do go ahead and go on to enjoy this video and uh, if you could leave a like on the video that would be really appreciated as this shows support towards my videos and my upcoming videos and if you are new around here then why not subscribe for more GTA 5 content that you guys can check out on my channel so yeah guys let's jump right into it okay so the first step would be to locate a helicopter anywhere you can find it so once you go ahead and find a helicopter you just want to head to the uh, Los Santos if you're already in Los Santos I'll show you where to go next so you should go in the middle of Los Santos where you'll find two tall buildings which are called the IAA and FIB so you just want to head over there right now once you're high enough in the air you should find the two buildings called the IAA and the FIB so the one we're gonna go to right now is the FIB so that's the one that the Easter egg works with of uh, finding the jetpack so this is going to be the first step you do have to follow now for the uh, actual Easter egg on how you can find the jetpack within Grand Theft Auto 5. When you get out the helicopter, just walk over this place here where you find all the panels. So once you blow up this panel here, you should notice that you uh, blow it up now and it should just be destroyed. And once you blow up that panel, you should now notice that your character dies, so which is quite a uh, weird thing to happen as that uh, didn't explode me at all. After you have died, you want to go over and get a taxi when you're by the hospital. So just get a taxi and come over to Mount Chiliad and you have to make sure that you come to Mount Chiliad by a taxi and not any other transport. So go ahead and uh, take over the taxi from the driver and just push him down there. It doesn't really matter but I just like to push him down there anyways because uh, it can be like pretty annoying when he does chase you around. So yeah you just got to get rid of all the evidence. So yeah once you go ahead and do that you just want to go all the way up to Mount Chiliad. The annoying part of uh, being in a taxi would be that you get offers by your manager who's actually speaking to you through the taxi and uh, you will get job offers through the taxi so just deny all of them and just make sure you decline them so yeah once you come over here you just want to keep going up and uh, just don't mind me I just had to change the radio there but you guys can't hear the radio anyway so there's no point really of me changing it but so yeah once you come over to this location you just want to keep going up and uh, so if you do see any animals around this area you just want to make sure you run them over so uh, you know they don't follow you anything or kill you so if by mistake you were to come out your car or anything as such they won't be able to eat you or somehow or bite you or something like that so yeah just make sure you kill them if you do see them anywhere I do not condone or promote any violence to animal You're abuse but I do highly recommend that you guys do kill them as uh, you don't want to die while doing this easter egg so it is highly recommended that you go ahead and kill them while you can before they eat you or bite you or anything as such the trickiest part of uh, going up into Mount Chiliad is actually going by taxi as you do have to be very careful taking corners as you can see right now but uh, yeah as you saw right there my controller actually disconnected so uh, I had to go backwards right there with my car but uh, yeah it did do quite a critical damage to my car but yeah make sure your controller is fully charged before you do this easter egg and that you don't uh, die or anything and as you see right there there's a location I'm going to speed up the process of me going up Mount Chiliad with the taxi now because uh, it did take me like a couple of attempts to do I'm not gonna lie and uh, yeah so it was kind of a struggle because I'm not the best with the, the taxis and everything so yeah uh, once you come over to the top of Mount Chiliad then uh, you should see a sign which I will be showing right now and so once you come over to the top you will see a sign which says beware or something like that and so once you see that sign you just want to get out your car and uh, so once you get out your car you just want to head over to the base of where the uh, treasure hunt takes place for the jetpack there's the sign as you can see right now so once you come over to this sign here you just want to make sure you get out your taxi and head right over to the base as of right now we are right on top of Mount Chiliad now so this is really good and we can get this uh, easter egg like really started now as uh, we've done all the other steps for the activation of this jetpack so yeah once you go ahead and come over to the top of Mount Chiliad you will notice this uh, little place here where you can go up the steps and go down the steps and uh, what you guys want to do is look right at the back of these steps and you should notice something which says 
Come back when your story is complete. That means you have to have 100% game completion of Grand Theft Auto 5 on the story mode. So you have to uh, make sure you complete it like every single mission, even the side missions. And uh, in case you guys are on last gen as well, that means you guys can use some uh, like game saves from other people who have actually completed the Grand Theft Auto 5 story mode on 100%. And for those on next gen, unfortunately, you're going to have to complete it all over again, which we cannot actually complete like with the like you know game saves, so we can't copy them over and paste them. So you guys will have to do them all over again. But yeah, once you come over to the base here by the cable car, you just want to come inside, and you should notice now there's an elevator right here, and this is the place which actually goes underground the tunnel, and uh, it leads to the activation of this Easter egg. So as you can see right now, we are by the uh, treasure hunt area, and it shows you like on the right side, you'll see all the pieces of uh, the activation of this Easter egg. So as you can see right there, there's the same. Uh, like design that we saw under the steps that means this is the exact hill for the easter egg activation of the uh, like jetpack so yeah this is the elevator but we can't access this elevator that's one thing to keep in mind so uh, the activation of this easter egg has to be through another route but it has to be through the top as you can see right now and uh, so as you can see like there's little signs on the like board as you can see on there so we're going to go into first person view and actually view it a lot more closer so we'll get like a better view. So it's like these X's. Uh, I'm not sure what they mean. They could be like dead people or something like that. But there's like half X's as well. There's like an X which is quite faded away and there's other two X's which are like completely like, you know, just on there. And there's two X's which faded away. So uh, it could be a sign of something. I'm not too sure but it does relate to some elevator over here. Maybe the IAA or FIB could have locked it up of some sort. But yeah, we also got an Easter egg down there, a UFO, and the jetpack as well right there. But it does look like it's a guy who's just holding a fish. But if you look closely, it'll be like a jetpack on the person's back. So those are the three main things that we need to get to. And uh, so yeah, what we're going to do right now is actually go over a few things. So uh, we know that the elevator can't be open, but I have actually tried opening it with a sticky bomb maybe. So then uh, it could actually explode and open. But that didn't work, so I tried to, uh, you know, plant some more sticky bombs down and uh, see whether it will open or not. But yeah, five sticky bombs is the maximum you can plant, so I went ahead and uh, exploded it to see whether it would open. And as you can see right there, I think that was a bit too many explosions for five sticky bombs. So there must be like an automated system down there which prevents explosions on this sort of system. So you won't be able to open this somehow. So that means we will need to go over and uh, find another location of the entry to this place. And there's also a message here which was encoded somehow. And it was just like, you know, just engraved or something like that. It's, you can't really see it. Uh, I was trying to look for a torch or something, but I don't really think that's going to help either. But if you look on the other side of this place, uh, like the other wall, it's not actually like anything on there. So it's quite suspicious. I even tried to look in the bin, but there's nothing right in there either. So it's just a bunch of cigarettes, which is quite irrelevant to what we're trying to search for. So that is, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do right now is go around the area and uh, look at what we can do. So I did find a parachute here as well, but I don't really think that's going to help us with this Easter egg. But yeah, so once you go over to this place here, you should notice like a lot of activities around this area of the cable car just going up and down, you know, for transport for people to just come, maybe tourists or something like that. But I even looked around the area for maybe some secret messages that we could decode or they might be just encoded or just encrypted somehow. But yeah, once you come over to the location, now this is the last step that you might want to have to do for the activation of this uh, Easter egg. I'm not sure how it was done, but uh, yeah, but you just want to come over here where you will see the sign here and it says trail and it says old man's something like that. And so I'm not too sure what that meant. So I just went down here and it said danger and it links to the mystery of the Leona Johnson's death where she fell off the hill from Mount Chiliad and uh, there's a bug right here that Rockstar Games need to like fix like immediately because I have no clue what happened there as it just glitched up on me and then so what you got to do is just fall like that uh, woman did and she died through this hill so once you go like on the mountain and you just fall down 
and you die, you will notice that you will start to uh, spawn in a different location now. So once you go ahead and load it in, uh, you'll also notice that it does take a very long time to load. And you'll have a black screen for up to 2 to 3 minutes, which will take a very long time. Which is quite a long time to load in GTA 5 Online, comparing that only takes like a few seconds, so yeah. My game completely changed when I spawned into Grand Theft Auto 5, as you can see right now. So uh, it like gives you a different vision or something, and uh, when you look around, you'll notice everything changes from the default colour. And uh, so it just gives you like some other colours or visions or something like that. And so when you look around in the game, you will notice that everything has pretty much changed. So yeah, if you guys think that I edited this in or anything as such, I have not edited it at all. Uh, you can tell by like how you look at things as it is pretty professional and like everything is pretty much detailed. So I couldn't have edited this at any means or any causes or any such as things like that. So this has not been edited at all. So just to clear things up. And as you can see as my gun, it's pretty like, pretty much like a uh, alien gun. It's pretty nice and purple as well. So yeah, we also got that. And so once I went over to this place over here, I thought I might just stand for a bit and see what happens because I'm not too sure whether my game has crashed or something or maybe the bugs were happening or like some glitches occurred so I just waited a few minutes and then guess what happened my game just finished again with another bug so I'm not too sure what happened right here I couldn't really tell what was going on whether my game was just really laggy or whether it was just bugging way too much but yeah, the like more activities I'd done evolving around Grand Theft Auto 5, it just changed my vision. So as you can see right now, I'm stealing this car from this person right now. And then you'll notice that the vision just changes once again. And so it just goes back to like this purple pinkish vision. And uh, which is quite weird in my opinion. But yeah, but then when I got out of here, I just, just got, out, got out like the car because I think things are getting way too weird now. And then I found this dog over here. So I decided to get my hatchet out and uh, just, you know, just kill the dog, obviously. So I'm not too sure what I was doing at this point because I was really confused whether this is part of the Easter egg of the activation. And then my vision changed once again. I'm not too sure whether the vision changes every time, like the do activities evolving around Grand Theft Auto 5. But uh, yeah, it was changing quite a lot of times and uh, it was having a pretty much high frequency on the vision. So yeah, and as you can see right there, the truck goes by and it says e cola Now normally that's meant to be red. Now how do you expect me to change the color of that? So yeah, it is pretty legitimate this uh, easter egg as you can see right now. So yeah, once your vision changes like a couple of few times, probably to 5 to 10 times, you will activate the easter egg and uh, you will have the jetpack of course. But obviously my uh, game crashed while I was doing this easter egg so I can't show you guys. But yeah, if you keep doing this and your vision just keeps changing, then you will notice the jetpack is in your inventory and you will receive it on the top left where it will say you have uh, received the jetpack and it's been added to your inventory. And then some chickens just spawned around my area, which was quite weird and like I don't really see chickens that often. So I decided to shoot one of the chickens and then my vision changed again to like this greenish and bluish like color. So I'm not sure what's going on, but I just want to say that this video was an April's Fool uh, video and that you guys got tricked. And if you guys want to, you know, just let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you got tricked, let me know down in the video the description below. I want to see what you guys thought of this video. And yeah, as always, see you awesome, my deagles, and I'm out. Peace.